Personally, once you get like your shooting mechanics and all that, I really think that shooting is like 80, 90% for me, mental. I struggled with that in high school, just like always beating myself up and like being my own biggest critic. And it was tough because I would get frustrated in my head and I could see how it would affect like every area of my game. And it really wasn't until I started to like realize that and notice that and I like noticed I needed to make a change for myself to like really help my game. And I think that started to come like towards the end of high school and then coming into college. And I can just tell like it's made a huge difference. I used to get so frustrated with myself um, and I worked out with my dad a lot and he would try to tell me like, hey, like you're the best shooter in the state like, and try to like tell me these things. And for a while, like I just, I would just beat myself up and I didn't believe it. But then like I started to like say the same things that he would tell me back in my own head. And I noticed like even if I didn't believe it or like if it wasn't true, although I was a really good shooter, so I probably was like one of the best in the state, but, <laughs> but like if it wasn't true, like, just telling yourself those positive things can really help. Like, and it really did help me like stay locked in and just move on to the next shot. So they talk about flow state and how um, people can get into these flow states and they definitely have related it to athletics and how athletes can get into flow states. And I do notice it more. Cause when I'm shooting with my dad or like shooting on my own, there are times where it's just coming off my hands so smooth that I don't even realize, but I am like in a flow state, like I'm not even thinking at all. And I think that's when shooters shoot the best, is when you're just not thinking. When you just trust like all the practice, the muscle memory that you have, and you just let it fly. Like I really think that's when you shoot best. So we were at the Arizonas. First game of the weekend was Arizona State. And if you've ever been to Arizona State, it's not an easy place to play at all. The fans are, some of the most dedicated fans I've ever seen. Very loud, um, and it was a tough game. Like, it's always gonna be a tough game when you play Arizona State, because they play hard for 40 minutes, and they're not just gonna let you win anything. So it was down to the wire, and I had this shot. It was a good look, too. Like, it was a shot everyone thought I was gonna make. I'm pretty sure the whole bench was standing up, and I just airballed it. Just completely airballed it, and I couldn't believe it. It was just so far off, and there's even like, right after I shot it, I went like this, because I couldn't believe that I had just shot that that bad. Like, I was just so, so shocked by that. I was upset with myself, but I ran back on defense and I just had to let it go. Because like I said, we were still in the game, like, had to keep playing. And then we're drawing up a last second play. I can't remember if the game was tied or if they were up one. I don't remember specifically, but um, the play wasn't for me. The ball got swung to me and then I passed it to my teammate and then it came back to me. And at this point, I knew the shot clock was winding down, but I didn't actually know how much time there was, but I just knew I had to shoot it. Shot it and I made it and yeah, it was just a great moment in our season for sure.